guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Reading Bear, and I hope you are ready for some more stories. And today, we'll take a look at some new entitled people content. If you enjoyed my content, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and post some bear emojis in the comment. And now, let's dive right into the stories. The first story is titled Karen Tangles with a Combat Veteran, Gets More Than a Handful. I am a 52-year-old man that works as a butcher at a pork processing plant, and I never encountered a Karen in my hometown. Background. I live in a town of about 20,000 people in southeast Iowa. I've lived here my entire life, minus six years that I spent in the military, and serving in Operation Desert Storm. Yeah, it's been 25 years, I was discharged in 1996, but it serves a relevant point, that people always tend to mess with the ones they know nothing about. The story. The other day, I was at a neighborhood grocery store, we'll call it HV, to keep anonymity, and was buying a couple loaves of bread, as I had run out. Now, at HV, their work uniform is a red polo shirt, with the company name embroidered on the left breast area in white, khaki, or black pants, and different colored aprons, black for the deli, meat counter, red for floor, and front area, green for floral, and a white lab coat for the pharmacy. I couldn't have been in the aisle for 10 seconds, when I feel a pair of eyes on my shoulder, I turn with a start, causing the woman directly behind me to give me a frown, I'll call her Karen. Me. You know, you shouldn't stand behind people like that, you don't know how they'll react. Karen. I need your help. Stupid me didn't register the way she said that, which should have set off the alarm bells. Now, there are people out there that state their anger is on a short fuse. I don't have a fuse, I have a button push it, and it's Armageddon. One thing I do have to admit, though, I've been pretty good at keeping it suppressed, I'm usually very level-headed, I mean, I'd had enough violence in my life, I would give anything if I could just live in peace. Me. If you want help, you should ask one of the employees. Karen. I am. Me. Huh? The realization suddenly hits me like a tank, and that she's talking to me. Me. Ma'am, I don't work here. I was wearing a black t-shirt, black cargo pants, black socks, and black sneakers, there was nothing about how I was dressed that said I worked there. However, Karen must have been blind, as well as deaf. Karen. Don't lie to me. You work here. By this time, I can feel me starting to lose control, this insufferable oaf was wearing my patience thin. Me. What about my clothes says I work here? Karen. You're wearing an employee uniform. You need to help me. Now. Oh, bad move, Karen. Now, I'm about 6 feet 1, and weigh about 210 pounds, I'm not a small guy, and my voice is fairly deep, meaning, when my volume goes up, I can get very intimidating, so much so, I've made more than a few scared of me. And, at this point, manners have gone out the window, I'd had enough. Me, matching shrill scream with booming growl. What ducking part of, I don't work here, do you not understand you irritating ducking p-e-n-c-i-l-n-e-c-k. After Karen loses the surprised look on her face, she balls up her fists, and gets this, I'm going to kick your ass look, I see this, and, at the same time, I notice a couple of employees behind me so, I return her look with a, go ahead and try it. Look. Me. Fair warning, you swing on me like a man, you'd better be prepared to take a punch like a man. Well, Karen relaxes her hands. Then, she hauls off, and slaps me across my face knocking my glasses off, and scraping the bridge of my nose, it did bleed a bit, but, the kicker was that she was laughing. Apparently, Karen must have thought I wouldn't do anything, however, she tangled with the wrong guy, she turns to look at me, and I put her on her ass with a slap across her face. Me. I warned you. Karen decides to play her trump card. Karen. I'm going to have you arrested. I smiled widely, and pointed to the security cameras installed in the ceiling to each end of the ass aisle. Me. Have a nice day, idiot. I grabbed my two loaves of bread, and walked up front to pay, while Karen as frog marched to the office in the back of the store. I found out the next day, the grocery store decided to suspend her from the establishment for 30 days, sucks to be her. The next story is titled I was the idiot. Background. I have a disability that will sometimes make it painful to walk, require the use of a cane or walker. Also my favorite is I can just randomly fall down. It isn't the type of falling where it looks like you tripped but just a straight down crumple. It can be very embarrassing and today was one of those days. 
I was doing some shopping at Walmart, pushing my cart, and boom. Leg gave out and I'm on the ground. Lots of people run over to see if I'm okay. Thank you nice people. I go through my always hurried explanation of I, am okay. No I don't need medical help, this just happens due to a disability. Like always people are trying to help, but then like a parting of the Red Sea an employee in a blue polo and khakis walks through the small crowd. He lets me get up on my own because I said I could and guides me to the bench by the pharmacy. I explain again and he offers to help me shop. I say thanks but I'm done because I don't even have my walker or cane in the car plus I have to push my cart. He offers a mobility scooter but I just want to leave because I'm embarrassed. He gets really excited and tells me to wait and walks away. He brought back a cane and says sorry but the walkers are all boxed up and he will push my cart. He just has this look of pure joy. I'm thinking this guy just doesn't want to do whatever task he has been assigned so I say sure. I've been there before. We walk and I claim I only need a couple items, I need it a lot but again I'm embarrassed and just want to go home and cry. We talk while he helps me get things, loads it on the belt, puts it in my car. I try to tip him and ask the best way to let his boss know how great he was. Then, oh I don't work here. I nearly died. I start apologizing faster than anyone ever has. I started to explain because of his clothing. I, oh wait that, s right. Walmart employees don't have to wear blue shirts now. They wear a vest. He tried so hard not to laugh but failed. I asked him why he helped me if he didn't work there. He said because his mother taught him to help people. It was too much. I started crying in the parking lot. After I pulled myself together we chatted briefly. We exchanged numbers and are going to grab coffee with his GF later this week. I moved last year and have had trouble making new friends because of the pandemic so now I might have two new ones. Best fall I've ever had. Most embarrassing too. The next story is titled New Neighbor Walks Into Our House Because She Knew Previous Owner. Never really posted a story before, so here goes. Cast. Me fiancé my dad M entitled neighbor. This happened two years ago when my fiancé and I bought our townhouse. Here is some backstory. We found a townhouse for sale in a complex, it was in our price range but needed some work, mainly the basement. On the disclosure the previous owner stated that the basement had flooded a few years previously, however the basement was carpeted and had never been replaced or cleaned, so it smelled mildewy. The way the house is set up, there are two entrances, the front door and a door in the basement, both with doorbells. The basement was in two sections, an office, and a playroom, with the outside door, this is relevant for later. Okay back to the story. I took a week off work and my fiancé was only able to take two days off so we could start cleaning, prepping our new house. First full day we had cut the basement carpet out and started scraping the glue off the floor. When my fiancé was back at work, I was there alone cleaning. My father is a bit of a handyman and was really excited about us getting a house, so he was going to come down and help us. I was in the basement sweeping and cleaning, and because of the amount of dust I left the door to the outside open then went into the office to start cleaning in there and that's when my father calls. Here is how I remember the conversation going. Me. Hi dad. Dad. Hi kiddo, how's the new place? Me need some work. Dad. I'm about to leave here, do you need me to bring any tools down? I turn to leave the office. Me. No, I don't think so oh my god who are you? There in the middle of the other section of the basement was a strange woman just standing there looking slightly disgusted by the mess. I nearly dropped my phone from the shock of a random person in our house. N. I'm N, I live in the unit over there. Me still in shock and extremely confused. What are you doing here? N. I know the previous owner. Me. What? N. You know you shouldn't leave this door open, squirrels can get in. She then walks out the door, closing it behind her. I'm still in shock and looking like some trout with my mouth open. I snap out of it when I hear my dad still on the phone. Dad. Hello? Is everything okay? Me. I think I just met our neighbor. My fiancé and I had a good laugh about it later. The next story is titled Husband Helps Wife with Grocery Shopping, He Must Work There. My husband, who works in a full suit and tie, sometimes stops at the grocery on his way home from work. He constantly told me that when he goes in his suit he is mistaken for someone who works there. Yesterday he came home to change before going so he doesn't have to explain it again. The grocery staff wears white or black polos, even the managers, so I didn't fully believe his stories. 
Then one day he joined me at lunch, in his suit and tie, to pick up some things. He helped me reach a jar on a high shelf when a woman approached him and asked the location of an item. He said, ma'am, I don't know, I don't work here. The lady looks at me and then back at him and says, but you helped her. Ma'am, that is my wife. The lady glares at us, annoyed, and walks away. A time at Walmart my husband and I were comparing labels in search of a good salsa. An elderly man comes up and asks can my husband find him a certain kind of salsa. I start looking for it, cause hey, the guy is old. We find it and the old guy says thanks but asks more questions until again, my husband has to explain he doesn't work there. Grocery again. An older woman gets offended that I reply to her request by saying, sorry we don't work here. She said she wasn't talking to me, just to my husband, and she was going to complain, but never saw her again. Still can't figure out why this happens to him. The next story is titled Customer tried paying with fake money, expected me to serve him. Hi I'm 17F and I work at Michael's the craft store. This happened the other week I was on my lunch break shopping as a normal customer, no uniform or identification that says I work there, and this man comes running up to me asking me if I work here. I told him, yes, but technically not right now since I'm on my lunch and not being paid. He proceeds to ignore my entire sentence, and grabbed me by the arm. This man was probably his early 30 and as I stated before I am 17 and a very small female. As he drags me to the register he's saying your cashier needs help and I've been waiting for my change for 5 minutes now. I ask him to please remove his hand from me before I drop the candles I was holding, and to his benefit he did. We make it up to the front and there is a long line with one cashier working. I proceed to just page on the PA system for backup and go back to my lunch break. Next thing I know the man's friend is coming up to me and also grabs me by the arm to drag me to the registers. I exclaim, what is with you and your friend and your need to put your hands on me? Now please remove them before I get someone to escort you out, my manger then approached me and asked if I could hop on register for just a couple minutes and I'll get an extra five for my lunch. Annoyed I do what she asks and hop on register and start ringing up the guy who grabbed me. He had a $3,000 basket of sewing lights and Visa gift cards and pulled out a wad of cash. So I took the cash from him and it definitely didn't feel right so I put them through our bill readers and marked them with the counterfeit marker and both showed up as fake bills. I proceeded to hand back all the money he gave me and told him that he needs to leave the store and that he's not welcome back and I will be informing my manger and they will decide whether a police report needs to be filed. The guy fast walks out the door and L tell my manager everything and tell them I'll be needing 15 minutes more lunchtime since the guy took up 18 minutes of my time and wasted them. I didn't get the extra lunchtime. The next story is titled I don't care what you think about eggs. Another post reminded me of this. At the grocery store in regular summer clothes. I am in the egg section. Man asks me what eggs are good. Me. I like these ones, points to slightly more expensive eggs then grab some for myself. Him, what five dollars for eggs? You have to be kidding me. Me, you asked what ones are good. Him, I can't believe you can sit here and try to sell me on five dollar eggs. You are telling me and you think I need to buy those eggs so you can make more money. Me laughing, buddy what the duck you taking about? I am not an egg salesman. Him yelling, now you are getting smart with me. You think that is funny. You want me to spend my hard earned money on these expensive eggs. For what? Bull crap. Me, why are you yelling? Him still yelling about me trying to scam him. The store overcharging on eggs. Me, you are acting like I have an interest in you buying eggs I don't. I don't give a duck if you ever eat another egg again. Him something something implying I work at the store then says, you came over and told me I needed these eggs. Me, you are right you need those eggs. You need to buy them right now. Buy the eggs, then I walk away. No kidding minutes later from a few aisles over I hear him still ranting about someone at the store is trying to force him to spend $5 on eggs. He was yelling loud. I was crying I was laughing so hard. I hope he tells people his side of the story on how someone tried to force him to buy eggs and he didn't want to. The next story is titled I'm not moving those carts. I am a tech that works on electrical equipment. I was wearing a gray uniform with a hard hat. My company's logo is in green in front of my hard hat and shirt. I'm working at a certain site and went on lunch break. Bought some small tools from a nearby Home Depot and a burrito from a taco truck in the same area. I went to sit down on a bench near the parking lot to eat my burrito. 
Some customer from Home Depot came out and walked over to me. Hey there's none of the big carts near the store, you should move some. I recognized immediately what was happening and will usually only say those glorious words once. Oh no miss, I don't work here. She just stands in front of me. I take another bite of my burrito. She points at the carts. Me. That wasn't my cart, I was only buying small tools. Lady. I know you're on your lunch break but someone needs to move those. Me. You, too, can make a difference. Lady. What? What are you talking about? Can you just move those? No. She stands there for like a solid minute. I'm going at it with my burrito. She walks away. I thought that was the end of it. I'm grabbing my backpack and about to walk away. Lady comes out with some poor soul roped into her antics. Got you now you lazy jackass. This guy is refusing to do his job. Can't believe people like you wanted $15 an hour. Whatever employee came out with her, he's not our employee ma'am. Lady. Why didn't you say something? I was gonna say I did but I was already on a schedule and walking away. Not my first rodeo. The next story is titled my friend's mom thinks I'm a taxi driver but when I try to explain I'm not she gets more mad. I'm a 17 year old, M, and this story takes place a few years ago when I was in secondary school. So my friend let's call her Emily always used her mother's phone to call me because she wasn't allowed to have one at the time and I don't know why, me and her were good friends and dated at one point but we don't talk anymore. So one of the days I receive a call from the phone number Emily uses to call me and I pick up thinking it's Emily calling me this is where it begins. Me picks up. Hello? M. Yes hello I'd like to get a taxi to. I don't remember to where she wanted it to go. So could he come over quickly I need to be there quick. Me. I'm sorry but I'm not a taxi driver and you got the wrong number. M. Don't lie to me I know you're a taxi driver so don't bullcrap and get your ass over here. Me. As I said I'm not a taxi driver plus I don't drive I'm not old enough to drive yet lady. M. I know you're a taxi driver I used this number before so stop this crap and do your job you ducking idiot. Me. Listen lady I already told I'm not a taxi driver and that I'm not of the right age to drive yet so can you please duck of and get off my ass binds the call. When I ended the call I thought what a weird lady and I didn't know it was Emily's mother until the next day when I was in school Emily told me that it was her mother and that she was sorry about it and I said it was fine and not a big deal. Also her mother did try to call me after I ended the call I just put my phone on silence and put on Netflix I could relax and enjoy my day. If you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel and post some bear emojis in the comments.